Hey guys, what's up? How to Moon here. Today I'm showing you guys five different launchers that are very unique and certainly recent from 2013. Let's begin this video. So, yeah, I'm not going to show you ADW launcher or gold launcher because I know a lot of you guys know about that and you don't want to hear another person say, oh yeah, this is the best. But here are some unique ones that you may not have heard of. Let's check it out. Alright, so first up we have Smart Launcher. It's free or you can get it for $3.59. That's the full version if you want that. Anyway, let's check this app out. It's pretty nice. Now, the reason I like this and it's at number 5 is because it has one screen but it has all your contents on there needed for you to use. So for example, if you want to go into your music, you go into your music just by tapping on that and it brings up the specific music player that you use. Phone call, same with browser, uh, gallery, messaging, camera as well, that's pretty nice. You also have the time up here and it looks like a lock screen sort of. Right down at the bottom here you have your apps. In here the apps they are categorized into the different options. So here are your phone apps apparently. All these are supposed to be phone apps. Browser apps are in here, so the ones that you use for the browser. Here are the games, the ones that are games. Pretty simple, aren't categories, settings, tweaks, uh, calculators, tools, and uh, media. You have this little white icon here. If you tap on that, you can add widgets as well. So if I add any widget at all, uh, let me just add an analog clock. You can have that there. You can add as many widgets as you want. That is Smart Launcher, and it's free. All right, so for the next app I have, is called Bazooka Launcher. Now this is free. Now this is really nice, mainly because it looks like MIUI Launcher. Uh, here you go, if you tap on the launcher, the app launcher launches up all your apps. Now this is pretty fast, I'm not going to lie. I don't like the little borders around the icons. I think it just looks a little choppy that all the icons look like that. Um, you can have the option to put all the little widgets on your home screen if you prefer. So for example, if you want a little analog clock on your home screen or in one of them, you can have it and you can replace it and move them around. Now I haven't found the option to actually resize the widget, which is not a problem at all, but I would like that option as well. And what I really like about this launcher is that you can actually have themes from this specific spot that they brought into it. So you can have different themes, have the iPhone style, or you want the scissor style, you can tap on that and it replaces it and you start to download and you can have different themes. And what's really unique about this is it actually has its own lock screen. Here you go, you can go into your phone call. You can change the lock screen as well. You don't have to have this one because I know it looks a little reddish. You can't even see it, but uh, you can change that up change the theme, change the lock screen, change everything. It, it's very customizable. That is Bazooka Launcher. Next up I have Easy Launcher. Now this is free. Uh, the main reason I like this app is because the widgets, they look pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie here, you can see all the widgets that you can download from the Play Store. Um, all of them look like HTC for a little reason. I don't know why they just look HTC-ish. And in the app drawer, you can see all your apps that you have here. Now the genius section right there, uh, it tells you all the apps that you, most, that you use the most. Now that's really unique because um, not many launchers do that, but this one shows you what apps you use the most. I use text messaging the most because I like to text a lot, but that's just me. Uh, you can move apps around. If you want, you can add as many screens as you want. Uh, you can go up to nine, I believe. But you can't replace these bottom icons. I don't know why it won't let you, but if you really want to get into this app, this home screen, you can go into the settings for this and you can check it out. At number two, we have Action Launcher. Now this costs $4. What this is all about, it's very unique. What the main features are, it's its sliding app drawer. Here you have your home screens, right? Well, if you swipe all the way to the left, you can actually see the list of all your apps that you have. Now, I don't really like the way that it looks because it just displays it like a little category style. Here you can also add widgets it pops with the little apps right there. You can add, you can add the apps, the widgets, or the wallpapers even if you want to. All customized and put into this little box all at once. If you want, you can add that little analog, place it on your home screen, whatever you want. So that's pretty nice. Down here you can replace these apps as well. You don't have to have those specific icons down there. You can add whatever app you want. You can even add, I don't know, calculator if you want and they all work. You have quick search as well, search up any apps you want. Right there you have the market, it goes, takes you to the Play Store and you can add apps, widgets and wallpapers using that plus button. That is Action Launch. Now for number one I have Next Launcher 3D. A whopping $16. Um, now I know that's a little high but if you take a look at this launcher you can tell that it's well worth your money. All the animations, all the stuff 
tweaks put into this launcher is very, very great. If I swipe my finger into the launcher, you can see all the apps move like a little cube. You can change that to actually make it look different. It has different transitions. I like this one because it looks in 3D. Um, here you have all your apps. They're all customized. Like little, I don't know, little boxes. You don't have to have it that order. You can move it around just by holding onto it and moving up there. Now let's say you want to have folders. You just select them like that. And then you just hold on one that you want to create the folder on. And you just tap on folder and it pops up with a little folder so you save room on your home screen. So here's the folder. I'm going to open it up. And there you go. You can see it. Now you can see that I can actually place the app, um, app icons wherever I want. I can place them on top of other app icons if I wanted to. It's just very nice how you can do that. You can even place them over any widget. It's not like they force you to put it in the specific spot. They tell you you can put it. You can put as many apps as you want on the home screen. You can put all your apps on the home screen. Another cool option that they added in is the fact that you can rotate your apps as well. So if you want, you can rotate your apps to make them your own style, customize it. Now if you swipe your finger up, you can see 3D carousel. That's pretty nice. Now, here you can add more home screens by pressing that one, and it adds as many home screens as you want. If you don't like that view, don't like the carousel view, it's fine. You have that other 3D view, just one by one, you can see that. Or if you just want the plain old 2D, you can have that as well. Swipe your finger up again, you have your apps. You can add applications, shortcuts, widgets as well. Here you have system widgets, the widgets that come installed with. You have wallpapers as well. It comes with its own wallpapers and live wallpapers. An individual is like themes. If you want themes, get in the Play Store. And there's a lot of different options to choose. If you, check, if you check the settings, you have a lot of different customizations and you can change the icons. Check it out. That is Next Launcher 3D. That's top five launchers I have for you guys. Uh, they're free. Most of them are free. Most of them are paid. Most of them are worth your money. Most aren't. Most are for you. Most aren't. It's all about opinion. It's not really about which one's the best. It's more about opinion. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, be sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And we also, and we also have an Instagram. Uh, it's at HowToMen. If you want, you can go follow us. And I'll see you guys in the next video uh, that we will have up for HowToMen. Kapow!